Welcome to Pointy Tutorial. In this video, we will discuss the Calendar tab. Now, on the Calendar tab, the default view that would be selected is the Day view. Once you bring your mouse pointer to it, you would see that we have different views to select from. We have a Weekly view, then we have a Monthly view, then we have the Staff view. If you have multiple staff members and want to see on a daily basis which staff member has how many appointments, the staff view is an ideal way to see them. When on the staff view or daily view or weekly view, if you want to change the date range, you can either click on the arrow keys on the center top to move forward or back or you can click on the date itself and it will pull up the calendar. You can then choose between different months and see the weekly or a daily view for that date or week. If you want to move back to today, you can always click on the today button that will move you back on today's date. On the top right corner, you would see there is a settings icon over here which you can click and change how the calendar is viewed. You have a start time and an end time that would determine the calendar times that you see. Plus, you would also see the increments. Now, these increments are only for the administrative side. These do not affect the customer interface. So you can change those increments to 5, 10, 15 and so on and so forth. Also, you can change the column width. Once you decided the settings, you can click on save and those changes would take effect. The tab next to settings is the filter tab. It works the same way as the filter tab on the agenda view on the MySpace screen. It gives you a choice of staff members and services which you can choose and then the system would show only appointments with those staff members and the services that you have chosen. If you want to reset the filter, just click on the filter button and at the bottom you would see the reset button right next to done. You can also reset the filter at the top right corner just below the X icon. Click on reset filter and it will unselect any of the selections that you have made previously. Once that is done, just click on the done button to make the changes. The button next to filter is the print icon. You can click on print and print all the appointments that have been done for that particular day. Going back to the calendar tab. Now that you have chosen the view that you would like, you would be able to see all the staff members and the appointments. You can again click on any of the appointment to see the appointment details. You can see the person's name, that is the customer. You can reschedule or cancel that appointment. You can request a review. What this does is that it sends an email to the customer asking them to give you a review for your services. You can also edit those emails and have Google reviews or Yelp review links there. If you have taken payments, you would see the icon which says print receipt. You can also click on view and see the payment amount. You can add a tip. We also have a refund button that refunds the amount, but that is linked to certain payment gateways like Square and Stripe. Now let's close this appointment. Now once you've decided the view that you would want to go with, you can pin that view so that whenever you open the calendar tab, you see that particular view. If you have more than one staff member or the number of staff members exceed the number of columns, you would see these arrows either on the right or the left. Once you bring your mouse pointer to it, the system would automatically scroll to the right or to the left to show you those staff members. The last option on the view of calendars is quick availability. When you click on that, the system is going to ask you to select a service. Once you select that, you can also choose a staff member or let that be. Once you've chosen a particular service and you click on done, it will let you know the available time slots so that you don't overbook 
or book appointments which are not available to customers. As the administrator, you can book appointments at any date and time and with any staff member. So at times when you're using appointee for internal booking, we recommend that you go to quick availability to see the available slots. In the monthly view, when you click for the month, there are different filters. You can view staff, services or resources. If I select service view, it will let me know which all services are booked on which dates. If I select the staff, it will tell me which staff member has how many appointments. As you can see, on the 21st, we have three staff members. The first one has number two below the initials, which means that they have two appointments. You can also click on the day and see all the appointments on the right. Once you select the staff member, you would see the appointment detail and when you click on the appointment details, it will show you that appointment. Again, you can add appointment notes, reschedule and see the appointment details all together. Once again, if you want to change the month, you can either click on the right or the left arrows or click on the date itself and change the month from there. Then we have the weekly view. On the weekly view, you would see all the appointments for all the staff members throughout the week. If you have multiple appointments on a particular day, you would see both of those appointments on that particular day. Let me see if I can find an example for you. So as you can see, on the 5th of October, we have two appointments with different staff members for the same service. Again, you can click on any one of the appointments to expand the details and see the appointment notes. Then we have the day view. Again, the same thing. On the day, you would see all the appointments. If you have multiple appointments with different staff members, they would show at the same time slot. Well, that does it about the calendar tab. See you in the next video.